This is module two, a continuation of talking about Istio. In the previous session, we talked about setting it up. I'll reference that in a second. But this is about routing rules. How do you allocate traffic to specific services so that you can even allocate a percentage of 10%, 50%, 100% to various versions? We'll start simple. We'll point all the traffic at a service version three for the reviews service. Okay, so before going further, make sure you've seen this video because I do assume you've set up Istio and you've set up the Book Info demo app. So this is an 18 minute video that goes through the gory details and shows you the complete layout of the sample application Book Info. And you'll need that for this demo because after all, I'm going to assume you're all set up and you want to hit the ground running to learn about route rules. Here at the Istio website, you can see the three review services in Java. Let's take a closer look. So let's quickly talk about the why, what, and how. The why is pretty simple. We may want to allocate traffic to a specific service version. How are we going to do that? Well, Istio invented a custom resource called Routing Rules. It's kind of a domain-specific way uh, to easily provision these routing rules in a declarative fashion. What we're going to be using is this custom resource created by Istio known as routing rules. That will be the kind. Inside of our domain specific language, in a declarative way, we are going to indicate 100% traffic to a specific version number, version 3. But before we do that, let's take a little bit of a tour of the command line and really validate what we're doing here. Make sure that there's a service that will route to version 3 of our pods. And the way you do that is with this fancy command. So if you want to list out all the running containers with the image path across all namespaces, this command is great. The first line basically lists out the image. The second line here allows each image to be on a separate line when we list it. The third line sorts, followed by a removal unique there for all the duplicates. Okay, let's issue that command now. Uh, check out the output, look at the images running, talk a little bit about what they are. We're not going to cover all of them, but just give you a heads up about the key ones. So here we are with uh, the final command. Let's go ahead and pipe that to a more so we can just browse easily. Right off the bat, you see the Alpine base image. You see some of the Istio docker.io files. This is the core of Istio. Scroll down a little bit, you'll see the, the add-on resizer is the container image that watches over another container in the deployment and vertically scales that dependent container up and down. The exec hell C is all about the liveness probe of a container. You could read more about the Azure Edge namespace here. Let's focus here on the Istio slash examples area. You can see the book info here um, being represented with the product page, the details, the three versions of the reviews, the ratings. So the goal, of course, is to be able to direct traffic to a version number. Three versions of reviews, one, two, and three. In this next section, we want to route traffic only to the latest version, version 3. A little bit of a visual. You can see, once again, the product page has three versions it can call into. Our goal, of course, is to focus on version 3. Now, of course, these are pods. The versioning goes to the pod level, and this diagram shows you the labels of the pods. Notice, very importantly, that we do have labels indicating version. Very important for the Istio infrastructure to be able to read these labels and know how to route traffic based on these labels. And these labels are at the pod level. Now, if you're curious about the magic, what makes this happen, once again, I remind you about the Istio proxy running in each of our pods, doing this magic behind the scenes. That's what allows us to really do things this way, to declaratively route traffic. This sidecar container, container two and all three of the pods, directs this traffic and coordinates with the control plane. Okay, so let's once again review the um, containers per pod. I have an application I wrote in Python here. What it does, very simple, gets a list of all the pods in the default namespace. You see the command here. We go over here and then for each of those pods list out the containers. And you can see here we do that with this JSON path component. That's going to go ahead and grab the containers for each of the pods. Go ahead and run this thing, Python 3, show containers per pod. And sure enough, we get a great listing here of all the containers per pod. I think the key takeaway, as I keep reiterating, is that we have the proxy debug, right? This is the Envoy proxy that routes all this traffic for us. And we'll see more about this in a moment. 
Another important point here mentioned again is that ratings have a version number at the pod level and those same ratings at the container or image level also have to match and we see this is true here on the output as well. So now let's go about the business of making sure that all traffic travels to version 3 of our reviews and to do this we're going to create a route role and I'll show you that next. So let's go into the samples directory from there we'll go into book info slash cube and we'll do a quick listing of our route rules here. So let's do an ls command here for a route. You can see there what we have. Okay, we've got a couple reviews that we're going to look at version 3 and then split across 2 and 3. Let's go look at just 100% of traffic to v3 here for reviews. First thing to notice is the kind here on line 2. The kind, of course, is a route rule. It's a custom resource by Istio. We're going to hit the reviews pods through the service and it's going to be version 3 at 100% meaning that all traffic simply goes to version 3 of our reviews. Okay let's get down to the business now of actually implementing this route rule. As you know this is to route traffic to version 3 of reviews. We'll, we'll use the istio ctl command. Pretty straightforward command. Isto, istio ctl create dash f in the name of the yaml file. And at this point, um, that rule is in place, all traffic routed to version 3 of reviews. Next up, let's go ahead and get the IP address by doing a CTL get ingress 13.64.65.34. We'll go to our browser, navigate to that IP address, hit the product page, and we should indeed see version 3. We can tell by the red stars here. So that's the giveaway that we have version 3 because that's the version that does red. Version 2 does black stars, and we'll look at that next. So let's go ahead and verify those rules are in place so we can delete them. We'll do an Istio CTL git route rule. There it is. That's the rule we just added. But let's now delete that rule. The reason is we're going to put in a new rule where we split traffic among version 2 and version 3 of reviews. So let's go ahead now and delete that rule. That's the version 3 rule. What we want to do now is route traffic evenly between version 2 and 3. Notice the route rule is gone, so we're ready for the next step here and taking a look on how to split traffic between reviews version 2 and version 3. So the next command here, of course, is going to do just that. Let's get into that. We'll take a look here at the layout. Notice we want 50% of the traffic to go to V2, 50% of the traffic to go to V3, and we'll do that with another YAML file. So let's go ahead and talk about this YAML file here, which is v2, v3. Let's take a quick view of that to verify what's going on. I think what you'll learn is pretty simple. We've got these route rules here. Notice for version 2, the weight is 50%. And naturally for version 3, it's also 50%. So we're going to split the traffic between those two. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead now. Let's take a quick look at this new YAML file. Notice we want to go after this v2 v3 version that's the one in fact that will route traffic evenly so istio ctl create dash f and then version 2 dash version 3 go ahead and run that and what we're going to see now is that that rule is now in place verify it with the get route rule command and so we'll we'll go to the product page and just do a refresh you'll notice it switches between red and black indicating it is splitting traffic evenly this concludes Module 2. We talked about some of the rudimentary skills you'll need to route traffic among different pods. And the core takeaway here is that one of the core takeaways is that we were able to define traffic patterns without modifying our applications. Istio makes that possible by defining these Envoy proxy sidecars that intercept traffic and reroute it appropriately based on the declarative markup that you define. You can then use the istio ctl command to define these routes, to look at the routes, to remove or change the routes, basically using those labels we define at the pod level. So thanks for watching and looking forward to making more of these videos.